I was on YouTube. Welcome back for another video. We got another rec recommended video from my boy A Round. He recommended uh, Gus Johnson when I did before this one and Dave the Busher. Uh, I think I might have seen a couple of highlights from Dave the Busher, but uh, it probably been a while back. Like, I don't think I actually sat down and watched it, but I probably seen like from different clips or, or whatever like that. But anyway, we got Dave the Busher, one of the top 75. NBA players of all time. I think he was a power forward slash center or something like something like that. Uh, but we gonna get on to the video. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the like button, and all that good stuff. And let's let's get it. A double double machine in Detroit for six seasons. Dave DeBusher saw his career take a turn in 1968 when he joined the New York Knicks and became the team's missing piece. With his intense defense, rugged rebounding, and clutch shooting, he looked he rugged right the there. Look at his face, like NBA champion. Like he ripped his head off. He was an excellent outside shooter. He had no problem with faking to the basket and stepping back and firing a, step uh, back. a jump shot from uh, would have been three point range. And he was accurate. He was a fun guy to play against. Very skilled. And of course, he was a baseball player also. Oh, yeah? Uh, and I was always that. hoping that he would just decide to go play baseball and give up uh, pro basketball. But he never did. He just kept playing basketball and, and beating people up and scoring. <laughs> Being people he was up. special. Dave the Bush and Dave and I were, uh, became in the league together. He was a first round pick in Detroit. I was a second Ooh, round. But Dave, to me, was an incredible player. He was the youngest player to ever become a coach. At 23 years old. And he Ever become a coach. At 23. He was an incredible player. He was the youngest player to ever become a coach. At 23 years old. So was he a player coach? At 23? What? That? Wow. And it's intercepted by Dave DeBusher. DeBusher with a very strong game. Dave was a forward, and, and uh, he was a, a power forward who could handle the ball, could score. Because they were a power forward. He was an exceptional forward. player. Detroit relied on him. He didn't mind being aggressive and physical, but that's the way the game was played. Dave was... Now, you heard that that's the way the game was played back then. From that area, that era, all the way to like the late 90s, it was always physical. Always physical. But nowadays, like, you can't too much bump anybody without getting a foul call. Like, the players complaining and whining to the refs and all this flopping and shit. But that's a different story. Fit right in with the mold. Before that, he was with Detroit. <coughs> but he, he was always one of them complimentary players that whatever they Nate. needed, that's what he gave them. And he was more, and 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 I, and, I, and I don't like putting guys in a category, but Dave the Bush was more like an enforcer. Okay, he came in, played the toughest guys. I mean, really played the toughest guys. Okay, oh, physically. Watch the elbow. One of the more tenacious watch basketball the players I've oh, known. Give me that. Uh, ferocious well, rebounder, defensive player, can shoot the ball. So he was the final piece of the puzzle that made us champions. I am very proud to be a part of it. And I think uh, I, I'm just so happy, really, right now. I don't. I was speechless. <laughs> Sean, Dave DeBusher was probably the original dual sport professional athlete. Well, when he came out of college, he had a choice to make. Is it going to be baseball or basketball? And he chose both because his first couple years, he was a pitcher in a White Sox organization. He played for the Pistons. He even had a shutout for the White Sox. But hmm. that's a long schedule to keep for a whole year. So he chose basketball, played for the Pistons, had great years with the Pistons. He was one of the original defensive specialists. He was a good lockdown defender, good help defender, and later joined the Knicks. And when you hear the defense chants now in sports, it started in Madison Square Garden with those early Knicks teams. And he was the heart and soul of the Knicks defense. Won a couple championships with the Knicks. And when you look back at his career, when he- Look at Phil Jackson right here. <laughs> It's like butter right here. What? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that looked kind of kind of awkward right there. I could tell the fit just because of his shoulders. Those broad, wide shoulders. Uh, that looked like, uh, is it Dave Cowan? I don't know. I, 
I might be right. I don't know. But I'm going to go say what I – it looked like he pushed Phil Jackson in the back. And it feels like – but whatever. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with it. He had that choice to make, baseball or basketball. I think he chose wisely. I certainly agree with you. And you mentioned the New York Knicks when he was the general manager for that Knicks team. He had an integral part in securing the iconic – I'm not even going to say his name. Patrick Ewing. <laughs> yes, he was a general manager. And the, when the Knicks won the lottery, that footage of him pounding his fist <laughs> to get that number one pick, in addition to being good, he was very lucky. I thought that him coming to the team and me going back to the center made us a better team because he was a Let great long range shooter and was a tough <laughs> rebound that could pass and dribble. So he played more like that. a perimeter player, and, and those were some of the skills I did not possess. So it really helped us to make us a much better team in terms of how we played, and we were a quicker team up and down the floor. He actually was the longest range shooting on the team because he had a very strong arm because he was a baseball pitcher. The Butcher hmm. has a hot hand for New Makes York. Makes a lot of sense. He has made a big difference in the New York entry of the NBA. He has a nice looking shot too. Hmm. Dave the Butcher. He was a pretty good player too. Uh, top 75 player. Of course, he had to be good to make to the top 75. But there's a lot of good players that didn't make top 75. But, um, it's a lot. See, I know there's a lot of old school players that I haven't been watching highlights of, and I'm I'm missing out. So I need I need you guys to help me. Like, if it's other old school players that I haven't uh, reacted to, comment down below, and I will look them up. I'll find a pretty good video on them, and um, uh, react to them, and you know, get a better better insight on these old school players, because like. Nowadays, what well, the the league changed, like the style of play changed. But I like the old school players, like the way they play. They play tough. They play smart. They play hard. They just play to win, and not all this bullshit, whatever like that. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. But um, the next time, your boy King Smooth. I'm out. Peace.